Hey, welcome back. So we'll get started in this challenge with the pre-work and we have to do two things. So we have to build two uh, new users in Salesforce and we have to create a pick list field on the task object. So we'll get started by creating our users. And the way we're gonna do that is by clicking the setup menu here, pressing setup. And then um, you can click over on the administration side of the menu and just select users. And we are going to press uh, new user. And these aren't actually gonna be real users. The point of creating these users is so that we could reassign the task to the owner. And you'll see what I mean in a bit, but these are just users that need to exist in the system. And as always, I like to use my favorite testing names ever. So we have Bob Apples, we'll call him B Apple, and uh, B Apples at B, oops, bapples.com can be his email, and his nickname can be Bapple. User license. I'm going to select Salesforce and I'll just make him a standard user. I believe in the test environment, you only get um, one Salesforce license. Well, technically you get two, but our user is going to use one. And then this guy, Bob Apples, will use a second one. So just be aware of that. It's not going to be a really big deal, but in case you need to make a user later or you're, you are using this environment for something else, you may not have this user license here. If you already have users available, you could use those, but just assuming that you don't, we're gonna make them here. So we'll press save. Oops, okay. The apples is already being used and that was probably me in another life. So I'll just add a dot after the com and I'll do babble. Bapples at bapples.com dot babble. And so uh, something interesting in the Salesforce world is that you can only have um, the username field exist in one environment. So it has to be unique ac across all organizations. So I'll press save. And fortunately that's not taken, but if I ever refilm this lecture, it will be. <laughs> um, and so this, this guy is created and that's perfect. And so I'm gonna click users again on the left-hand side under the administration menu, just to navigate back to this all user screen. And now I'm gonna make our second user by pressing new user. And I'll just do Tina apples, should be T apple. I'll do T apples at T oops. Yeah. At T apples.com for the username. And then I'll put a dot after uh, the dot com in her username. And I'll just do the num the number one uh, user license. I'm just going to pick Salesforce platform and um, I'm noticing the nickname it was like a weird set of letters and numbers. So we'll just change that. I'm checking these boxes out of habit. You actually don't need to check these at all. It's totally fine. Uh, the main thing is that the first and last name should be Tina apples and that, you know, the user license should be available in your environment. I'll press save. So we now have our two users created and you'll want to confirm that you also have two new users in your environment. So that's it for this piece of the pre-work. And so long as you got those users in there, you're good to go. The next thing that we need to do is create a new field on the task object. So I'm going to press object manager, and then I am going to navigate to uh, the task object. And I want to make something um, really clear when it comes to tasks. So I'm going to go to the task object first, and then we have to go to the activity object. So when we want to add a new field to the tasks, you'll see that if I click fields and relationships, and I go to press the new button over here, or maybe it's over here, where the field normally shows up, there's no new button. So Salesforce, uh, for whatever reason, I actually don't know why, so if you do, please feel free to let me know, does not allow you to add new fields to the task object inside the task object itself, which is a bit of a mouthful and maybe a little bit confusing, but uh, what we have to do is actually navigate to a second object in the object manager. In the UI, on the front end, they look mm -hmm. identical. So there's no difference between an activity and a task in the UI on the front end. But when we're customizing on the back end, if we want to add a new field to a task, we actually have to go to activities. And uh, just keep that in mind if you're curious as to why we're going to two different objects to update this task. 
So with all that said, I will again click Object Manager. And the second item here in the list is called Activity. This is uh, where we add custom fields for tasks. And we'll do that by pressing Fields and Relationships. And you can see that now I have the ability to add new fields here to this object, whereas on the task one I didn't. And that's really the only reason we're using the Activity object. I've gotten you know, a bunch of questions about that in the past, so just wanted to make that a little bit more clear this time of filming. So I'm going to press New, and we're creating a new field. And I'm just going to select Pick List, and I will press Next. And we will label this field Assigned Coordinator. And we're going to enter new values with each value separated by a new line. And these values will be the names of the users that we just created. So I'll type in Tina Apples and Bob Apples. And it's really important that you spell the names the exact same way you did when you created the users. So if you forgot what the spelling looked like, um, go back and just make sure these are the same. Out of habit, I just unrestrict the values in the pick list. Um, that is helpful when you're working with API callouts. I just do it out of habit. You don't have to, but I always like to. We'll press Next. And we'll leave the default visibility settings. I just scrolled down to confirm that the system admin was checked, which it is. And I will press Next. And I'll just add it to both layouts. That's fine. And we'll press Save. And so now um, we've created two users, and we've created the pick list field on tasks. So if I go click Task, we're in the Kanban view. If I or we're in the console view the split view. So if I change this to display as a table, this was the view I'm looking for. And I was just looking for this new task button. And all I'm confirming here by looking at this new task is I just wanted to see that this assigned coordinator field was present. So so long as you're seeing this, then you're good to go. And um, that's it for this lecture.